be. Welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Amaris. Now, this is another question that someone's someone's asked in the comments, and yeah, I, I answered it, but I thought it would make a, a good video uh, because it's something that, again, many people um, ask in, in, in varying different um, degrees, uh, the, the similar question. So the question was, um, I'm drawn to or uh, I'm interested in green green witchcraft or want to be a green witch do I have to follow Wicca um, and basically because because of the many books that um, that are available are basically Wiccan books now no you don't have to be a Wiccan um, back in the day when I was uh, you know, younger and, and and looking for, for different books and, and whatnot um, they were all Wiccan books. They were um, that was that was what was available. Um, we didn't have the internet because uh, I'm you know I'm a bit a bit older <laughs> than um, than I'd like to admit. But um, you know we didn't have um, we didn't have the internet to the to the extent that we do now. Um, so access to books were library or whether you could purchase them at a bookstore. And as I said most of them were Wiccan books. Now the reason is that Wicca um, is uh, the it's the public face of witchcraft. It is is um, it is the um, it is the religion of witchcraft. And many people uh, have worked really really hard to so, I'm not sure what the word is, but like de demonize witchcraft. And Wicca is the is the way that it that it was was handled. Um, Wicca is, um, as I said, is religion first, and it is um, witchcraft or magic second. And bringing uh, bringing the the spiritual part of of witchcraft um, to the forefront and presenting it so that it wasn't something that um, people should be afraid of. Um, and having it as an alternative to like you know, the big three, um, or it could be the big four, um, but slight, slight. Um, you know, so you have you know Christianity, you have uh, Judaism, you have um, Islam, and you'd have Buddhism, which would be the you know, the, uh, the one of the other larger ones that many people look at. But um, predominantly the the big three. It was seen as a an alternative to that to people who who didn't find. Uh, the um, what they were looking for, or didn't didn't resonate with those those uh, the big three, then they could look to paganism, um, Allah, not Allah, but <laughs> um, they could look to paganism um, and and Wicca witchcraft as as an alternative, and bringing it into the public light and sometimes when you do that you have to water down a few things and gloss over a few things that many people find um, don't doesn't truly reflect how they see witchcraft and how they practice witchcraft which is fine because as I said there are so many different variations of witchcraft and Wicca is just one it just seems that it is the that is at the forefront it is the public face um, which means that there are mostly most books that are going to be written about witchcraft are going to be um, Wicca books um, or books that have Wiccan content in them. Now, so there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're not wanting to be a Wiccan, if you're not interested in the religious side of, of magic, then it's going to be a little bit hard. And the the one of the things that I, I would say is that just don't... Um, don't look at those parts of the book. Don't take those parts on if they don't interest you. Use the book for the other bits that you are interested in. Just because you read a book doesn't mean that you have to take everything that book says on board. Um, you know, if you did, then that's, I would say that, that is one of the wrong things to do. Um, sorry about that. I just didn't want to look like a disembodied head, <laughs> as realised. Um, so taking every single thing on in a book, um, I, you know, I, 
I wouldn't recommend it uh, because you know some things you may agree with, some things you don't agree with with uh, with people, and that's fine. That that what's that's what makes people you know, unique and different. You don't have to agree with every single thing someone says uh, to to take on board some of the things that they they have um, they have that. that that resonate with you or, or are really good pieces of information. So if you're not interested in, in um, the religious aspects of, of Wicca, then that's fine because um, there are, as I said, lots of different traditions um, and many are just purely magical. There is no religious aspect in there. Um, hoodoo can be seen as a, a a witchcraft practice. It is a practice of the craft of, of a witch. Uh, you can add religious aspects in there when you are doing certain prayers and, and, and whatnot, but it is not inherently a religious practice. Um, so with that said, you can use um, different books that will teach you different magical um, practices, but uh, you just disregard some of the religious aspects of that. Now when you're finding a book, um, I'm not going to give you a list of, of books to, to follow because I think you should um, read quite a few different books from different authors and different, different ways of doing things just to get a bit of a, an idea about what resonates with you. Now with this person who asked specifically about green um, witchcraft, green witchcraft is, is more you know, earthy, it's more to do with, with the earth and, and getting in touch with the earth which is what you know, Wicca and witchcraft um, um, say and espouse but um, it's not necessarily what everyone does so the green witchcraft is you know, using the roots and the herbs and and getting in touch with nature and and going with the flow of nature so when I when I say about using a, a book find a book that has a good structured um, starting off um, curriculum um, for, for a novice uh, um, program um, which means that you have a, a meditation regime that is, uh, is recommended, um, even if it is a, a certain workbook, like a school book that has a, a curriculum that you need to, to, to follow. Um, so something that has um, meditation in it, something that has uh, focus exercises in it, and most importantly, something that has um, a banishing technique that you follow and you practice. Now all of these ones are things that you need to practice over and over and over to get a certain level of proficiency. And they're, they're needed uh, for you to, to move forward. So meditation is uh, if you are working on being a, a green witch, um, meditating in nature getting in touch with nature. So not only meditating, you know, it, say in your room, but going out into the into the wilderness and, and meditating there. Um, the focus exercises. Again, it is about you know being able to focus on something for longer than, than 10 seconds. Uh, we have been um, you know, kind of conditioned to have the whole sound bite Thing and you know, tell me in, in um, you know, ten words or less, you know, magic, um, and so that I, that I understand it and I know it. And it's like that, that's not going to happen. Uh, the same as YouTube, uh, many videos that are that go a little bit longer than ten minutes, most people don't bother watching or can't be bothered watching. So with your focus exercises, you need to be able to focus and keep your focus uh, for an extended period of time. Uh, so you need to move past that, uh, that sound bite, the, the, um, the ad break um, section that, that you're, you know, it's only 30 seconds um, so that we've got to you know, get in there and get the information to you because you're not going to be, um, you know, your attention span just doesn't handle it anymore because it's like a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, all our attention's all over the place. So cultivating attention span that's longer than 30 seconds I think uh, is, is is paramount with magic um, and 
being um, getting rid of some of the technology I think will, will help in that respect of being able to focus don't have your phone on don't have the internet on you know in your room while you're doing it don't you know don't be messaging people blah blah blah, blah while you're trying to do these focus exercises because you're not focusing same with the meditation don't have your phone on and and you know so that you know, every five minutes there's a there's a, an alert and or every you know two seconds is an alert depends on how popular you are um, and so you're, you're not going to be able to get into that meditation. Lastly, it would be uh, a form of banishing, being able to banish um, energies uh, effectively. Because the big thing is, if you are working with any energies um, later on down the track, uh, if you are calling on any energies, you need to be able to, if, you, if you're going to open the door, you need to be able to shut that door as well. It's very easy to open a door um, when it comes to magic. It's very easy to open a door. The hard part is closing the door afterwards. It's like opening the door onto a tornado. Can you close that door yeah, again when the tornado is trying to come in the door? Uh, so that's the thing that you need to do. Meditation, focus and learn your banishing technique or at least one banishing technique to the point that it's part of your DNA it, you've learnt it so well that you don't have to think um, to be able to do it it is almost a subconscious thing and uh, once you get you know, to that point then you can safely um, start to to work with other energies of, of, inf of an invoking nature um, green witchcraft again, going out into nature, letting nature be your guide. Don't rely on, on a book, so to speak, when it comes to other, other things. You know, get that book to give you a solid foundation, but then go out into the nature. Let the stones um, teach you, you know, crystals, um, you know, the actual stones um, from, from different areas. Um, let the river, the water teach you. Um, so go to, go to a lake, go to a river, go to the sea, um, you know, get your feet dirty, um, you know, get your hands dirty, all of those sorts of things. Sit and meditate up against a, a tree and connect with a tree, all of those sorts of things that you, know, you can read in a book but it is the experience and the practice of doing that that is, that is the, the craft. So in a nutshell, find a book that gives you a solid foundation, a solid working foundation to start with. Start working through all of those things and then and at the same time let nature be your guide. Read as many different books as you can from as many different authors as you can. Don't stay in one narrow little field and uh, because you can find information in some of the most surprising places. And uh, just have fun. Um, you, know, you don't have to be a Wiccan. Um, there are many flavours of witchcraft and uh, just explore and uh, yeah just because you may start off as one thing doesn't mean that you're going to end up um, the same thing at the end it's about transformation it's about growing so you might start off as a green witch and who knows you might end up being a blue or a purple or a pink witch <laughs> later on um, so yeah hope that helps uh, merry meet merry part and merry meet again blessed be if you like this video and want to see more please click on the links provided. If you think this witchcraft thing may be for you, please subscribe. Blessed be.